Well, thank you for joining us for the Scott and Jay uh, Parks and Recreation Report for the Town of Hartford. My name is Scott Hausler, and I'm with Jay McDonough, who is our supervisor, uh, program coordinator, excuse me, uh, for the Hartford Parks and Recreation Department. Um, just a little bit about Hartford Parks and Recreation. Um, we're a full service uh, park and recreation agency for the town of Hartford. We service five villages uh, in the town, uh, White River Junction, uh, West Hartford, Hartford Village, Wilder, and Queechee. Um, one thing that we would like to let the community uh, know here in Hartford as well as in the Upper Valley is that soon our uh, office will be moving back from our temporary location at 35 Railroad Row uh, over to 171 Bridge Street, which is our old facility, which is um, at the new renovated uh, municipal building. So we look forward to seeing uh, many of you folks um, at our new site um, uh, within the next couple of weeks and we'll be there throughout the summer as you um, uh, come and enjoy uh, looking for programs and activities for your, for your children. Um, if you're looking for things to do this summer, um, Hartford Parks and Recreation has a tremendous amount of um, offerings, um, not only in the many parks that we, that we uh, maintain and take care of and, and areas that you enjoy as the general public, uh, but also we have a tremendous amount of uh, recreation and program offerings uh, that start here in the spring and will carry us all the way through the summer from sports and recreation to camps to uh, special events and uh, concert series and those sorts of um, activities for all of you to enjoy. Um, you, wanna, you might want to ask too um, yourself how, how do you find out about Hartford Parks and Recreation and um, uh, one uh, really cool thing that we've started uh, most recently is our online presence, and that is at hartfordrec.com, which is our online registration um, program where you can find every program <clears throat> uh, that you would like uh, to uh, sign up for, um, from youth all the way up to senior citizens. Uh, you can find uh, a whole list of, of our uh, offerings to the public. Uh, also on our Facebook site, so uh, make sure you friend us on Facebook. Uh, there you can find uh, up-to-date um, information about activities. You can follow some of the things that we're doing throughout the spring and summer. Just a great offer, uh, opportunity to, to see what's happening uh, here in Hartford. So, um, so what we'd like to do is kind of go through and share with the public um, some of the things that we're doing this summer. and. And Jay here uh, coordinates a tremendous amount of the activities that we offer, and, and we're just gonna chat just a little bit about uh, what's happening. So uh, one of the, the big differences in, in how we offer things this summer is our aquatic programming, Jay. So mm -hmm. um, this year, due to the uh, construction of the new field house at the high school, uh, we've uh, had to close our outdoor municipal pool for the summer. So everyone might say, gee, that's, that's, a, that's a big loss, you know, for, um, for what um, people like to enjoy um, when they go to the uh, outdoor pool facility. However, we've got several, several ideas and several things that are being planned um, as we speak, uh, how we're going to entertain our uh, aquatic um, uh, programming this summer. So Jay, I, you want to share what we're doing, um, you know, with aquatics and how that might um, impact some of our current programs that use the pool and uh, maybe what we've uh, got planned uh, for the general public, how they can um, enjoy some type of aquatic uh, experience this summer. Absolutely. So <clears throat> one of the biggest uses we've had in the summer was our summer camp program. Um, we had daily swim lessons at our site at the Hartford High School. So we have been working with the Upper Valley Aquatic Center to, um, which have, they've been very supportive and so we've collaborated with them on moving all of our camp lessons up to their site um, for the whole summer. So the Camp Ventures program will still have daily swim lessons on site at the Aquatic Center and we'll be busing them up there daily. And in addition, we will be working out um, some general swim lessons for the public mm -hmm. um, to offer at the um, Upper Valley Aquatic Center in the mornings. Right, so I, you know, what we're talking about, um, and I know we haven't got it finalized at this point, but uh, we're hoping that we can get a shuttle 
or we're working on having some sort of shuttle system that um, after camp returns, which is generally around one o'clock after right. their experience at the Upper Valley Aquatic Center, uh, we're looking to bus patrons um, over to the Lebanon Municipal Pool uh, for their general uh, public swimming. So um, uh, we think that'll be a, a pretty good opportunity for, for kids and, and families that are within that center of, of town that typically walk or maybe bike to the pool. So they'll get an opportunity to hop on a bus and, um, and uh, make their way over to the Lebanon pool. And, and um, how are we gonna staff that? I mean. Yeah, so um, we will still have lifeguards and swim instructors um, on staff for the summer. Um, um, teaching our lessons at the UVAC, obviously right. in the morning with our summer camp, but also being part of the, the trips over to Lebanon, they'll be on site at the bus, help supervising over, and then you know, what, when the kids are on site at the Lebanon pool, our lifeguards will be there kind of as supervisors for the yeah, day. Right. Correct. And that will be five days a week. Right, that's the plan. So hopefully we can make that work to where five days a week, we've got a, a bus that will drop, uh, leave the high school, move over to uh, the uh, Lebanon pool, uh, and then later at the end of the public swimming, uh, pick everybody up uh, from the from the pool and bring them back to the high school. So it's really just an off-site experience. They would be making their way to the high school anyway, correct? And right. and then hopping on the bus and going. So uh, soon we hope to have online at HartfordRec.com information related to how you can get on this shuttle and getting on this shuttle uh, will require um, participants or parents to sign up their children. Uh, there will be some age requirements. I think it's 13 and under requires um, somebody 18 years of age or older. Um, uh, so they would have to have somebody 18 years of age or older to go with them uh, to the pool. Uh, anybody over the age of 18 can hop on the bus as long as they've been registered with us. So we hope that'll work out relatively well. Then the nope. shuttle would be at no cost to any of the correct. swimmers looking to go to Lebanon. Correct? correct. No cost to swimmers. Um, the only cost would be the admission to the Lebanon pool, uh, which I'm not. I believe it's four dollars for a non-resident so, per day. Per day. So, so look forward to that kind of information coming out really soon uh, on HartfordRec.com or as well uh, on our Facebook um, page, uh, where you can get all that information on how to sign up. Uh, and it'll explain the entire program uh, for you folks. Another really exciting uh, part of Hartford Parks and Rec this summer is the opening of the Maxfield Sports Complex. Um, currently it is, uh, it is still in the end uh, phase of the construction, uh, meaning that uh, hasn't been signed over to the, to the town as of yet, but uh, that's gonna happen really close here in the month of May and we anticipate that facility to be um, um, almost um, uh, complete operation. There are some fields that um, uh, were planted, uh, the grass was seeded uh, late fall, uh, therefore there will be sections of the park that uh, won't be uh, accessible or won't be uh, usable for any kind of uh, recreation, sport, or activity. But at Maxfield, we've got the regulation high school baseball, a regulation high school softball field. Uh, there's a wonderful uh, uh, walking path that uh, goes from the entrance of the park all the way around the entire uh, park complex that will be open. Uh, we also have a fourplex um, a little league complex that surrounds a multi-purpose um, uh, athletic field. Uh, there are three pavilions. Uh, two of them uh, that um, are open air shelter pavilions that have bathrooms. Another facility is an open air shelter as well that has uh, bathrooms and also a small um, catering style kitchen or concession that is over by the tennis courts in uh, which we have four tennis courts and two basketball courts. So that facility and all those pavilions will be available for uh, uh, permits and you could uh, have a, um, a birthday party at the complex utilizing one of these open air shelters. Um, there could be a, a wedding reception. I mean, the, it's wide open and what can happen at this facility. Uh, plenty of parking, um, just an, an awesome place that uh, a family can come while 
their child might be uh, participating in a in a baseball game and and the family can walk the path or uh, to recreate while there's a, a practice going on or you name it. I mean, you've probably had some great ideas there too. And I know you've got two f activities that are coming up um, really soon uh, once we open the facility. You want yeah, to so, so with the brand new tennis courts, we wanted to do a, kind of a grand opening on the tennis courts with there being four tennis courts there for the general public to come and use any time I've been, um, We've collaborated with the USTA to offer this kind of grand open of the Maxfield Tennis Courts, which is going to be on Saturday, May 16th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And that's for all ages welcome. Um, for the kids, we're going to have like a learn to play tennis. Um, uh, adults will have adult um, round robins going and different games and activities throughout that time. And there'll be a chance for the kids and adults to win prizes. We'll, we'll have some light refreshments for everyone to enjoy as well. Nice. And what date is that again? That's on Saturday, May 16th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Great. And then pickleball. Um, that's a huge uh, upcoming uh, uh, sport and um, uh, that's that's going to take place at Maxfield as well, correct? Correct. Yeah. yeah. So the following Monday, on Monday, May 18th, we'll be holding a learn to play pickleball clinic. And again, that's for all ages to come out and enjoy. And um, Nice. That's going to be from 10 a.m. to noon. 10 to noon. And Excellent. You won't, you won't need any equipment. We'll supply all the equipment. Just if you ever were wondering about the game of pickleball, now's the time to come out and see what it's all nice. about and, and play a few games. Nice. I'm going to be there myself. It's a fun. It's a fun game. It's very fun. It's a lot of fun. And even if uh, you you you've uh, not a tennis player or um, you have trouble, you know, like getting from one side of the court or the other. Um, it's 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 a fun game because it's really condensed um, court so there's not mm -hmm. a I mean it's active I mean you've got to really run and and move quickly but uh, it's fun because it's uh, it's a smaller court and easy to play easy to play how about summer camp Jay uh, what what's happening this summer um, with our camp ventures yes yeah, so our camp ventures is it's an eight-week consecutive camp uh, it runs from June 22nd through August 14th. So like I said, kids will sign up for the week. And um, with that week session, like I said, we offer daily swim lessons that will happen at the Upper Valley Aquatic Center. Um, this, the location of the camps out of the Hartford High School. So mm -hmm. drop off and pick up. It would be right at the main entrance of the high school each day. Um, the cost of the camps, 125 per child. Mm -hmm. And like I mentioned it was for grades K through six. So anyone Anybody that's completed grades K through six can be a part of the camp. And each week is themed differently. So some of the themes we have this summer, I'll read off. And also, just we, we do print off some of our Excellent. spring summer brochures. Right. right. So we have these available in a digital copy on our website at hartfordrec.com. Also can be found on the town's website at hartford-vt.org. So you can, get a, you can get a PDF copy of this. Right. To look at you know, on your mobile device or on your, your smartphone, laptop, or right. you can come in our office or one of the local businesses that we distribute these to and, and pick one of those up. And it has all of our program information in for the summer. So it's, it's a great resource to have you know, at your house when you're looking for things to do this summer. Yeah, definitely. In addition to the online presence. Right. So out of the Camp Ventures, what would be the top two uh, weeks that that um, you think are probably the best as far as trips go? Yeah, so one of our um, most popular weeks is our All-Star Sports Week. Um, so that's, that's just a, a fun, fulfilled week packed with all your different sports um, packed into one, one week, Monday through Friday, um, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And in addition, we, we go down to the Fisher Cats game. So oh, the nice. kids will get right. to go on a bus, get to go down to the Fisher Cats game and enjoy a great day of baseball. Nice, nice, excellent. We'll be um, we'll be utilizing the Wendell A. Barwood Arena as well as much as we can this summer. Right. Now that that complex has uh, completed its renovation, um, so inside that facility, we'll be able to utilize it as much as we can as well for some indoor activities. So we've got a great complex, and in particular to the use of the, of the high school. We, we certainly um, really appreciate their collaboration and allowing us in their school during the summer uh, to utilize their facilities and, 
and it makes for a great campus for a, for a summer camp, especially when we have up to 80 kids in each session. So as of this time of year, what do you, how are we with registration numbers? Um, yeah, so right now re registrations are ongoing. We, we probably have a third of the camp filled at this time. So I definitely encourage you, if you are interested, to, yeah. to check out our website, harfordrec.com, and you know, get, your, get your child enrolled as soon as possible to secure that spot because you know, it is pretty common that we will fill up all 80 spots for every yeah. week this summer. Great. Now, you mentioned the Fisher Cats now. There's an, another great opportunity for baseball is Hartford Parks and Rec is uh, going to the Red Sox game and we're taking a motor coach um, bus down to see Baltimore Orioles, I believe, correct? Yeah, the Baltimore Orioles and that's on Thursday, June 25th. So that's a, that's, that's a Thursday game and that's a, a 4.30 start? Is that when the no, it's game? A, it's a 1.35 one thirty. see, so I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, so, so we'll, we'll, leave, yeah. we'll leave the municipal building earlier in the morning to be down okay. there, um, plenty of time to kind of get settled into Fenway yeah. before the 135 starts. That would be nice. Um, the price for that is $78 per ticket. Nice. And that includes the admission to the game and the transportation to, and, to from. and from Fenway. Nice. And I believe we're sitting, is it in right field section? Right, yeah, the, the right, right field, field grandstand. Grandstand. Where we'll be sitting. So if you want to go to Fenway this summer, it's a great opportunity and it's, uh, it's a nice day trip. As again, Jay mentioned, we leave in the morning and uh, head there. We'll spend probably a little bit of time. People can hang out around Fenway Park prior to entering the stadium before we uh, go in for pregame and, and to watch the game. So uh, if you haven't been to Fenway or haven't been to uh, one of the bus trips, we certainly encourage you to take advantage of this offering uh, that we have. It should be a great time. So um, another event we have um, uh, coming up in uh, in July, and July is really packed with a lot of activities because uh, nationally, July is Parks and Recreation Month, and here at Hartford, we celebrate that National uh, Park and Recreation Month by uh, promoting a lot of our July activities. And uh, not only do we have the Fourth of July, which we can talk about here in a minute, but we're also uh, um, uh, we have our um, uh, Hurricane Hill Trail Run, which is on uh, July 25th. And that's up at uh, Hurricane Hill. It's a 5K and a 10K. It's a collaboration with uh, Friends of Hartford Track, as well as the Upper Valley Aquatic Center. And this year, it's, it's uh, some new uh, events are taking place um, up at the Aquatic Center. Um, they are offering um, uh, some swimming uh, uh, for the participants for free after the trail run. Uh, and then we're also doing a kids race, which is uh, put on by the Upper Valley Aquatic Center. And uh, there will be a free, it's about a, uh, I think it's a half mile and a one mile uh, loop for kids that just want to try out running or maybe want to run before their parents take off and do the 5K or 10K. So that's at 9 a.m. Uh, starts at the Upper Valley Aquatic Center. We bus everybody up to the top of Hurricane Hill before we enter the trails for the trail run. That's part of the Western New Hampshire trail running series. So we anticipate close to 100 runners uh, this year. So if you're, you like to get into the woods and you like to run and uh, maybe haven't done it before, we certainly encourage you to take advantage of it. It's a great group of people that run the trails and uh, we certainly would like to see as many people take part in, in, that, um, in that activity. Uh, Fourth of July, why don't you talk a little bit about what we do the Fourth of July, Jay? Yeah, so the 4th of July is always held for our department on the 4th of July that evening and um, everything usually kicks off around 6 p.m. So you can bring the family down, bring your blankets, lawn chairs. Um, it's a great place to, to Kilowatt come. South, correct? Kilowatt yeah. South Park, yeah. correct. correct. Okay. And they, they shoot the fireworks right over the Connecticut River, um, right just up from the Kilowatt Dam. Mm -hmm. So it's a great location. Um, we have a huge open field, so everyone kind of sp spreads themselves along the field and just makes for a uh, spectacular show. Great. And so at six o'clock the event kicks off. We have ongoing children's activities, um, face painting, um, field games over with our children's tent that um, our, our camp staff puts on and mm -hmm. they always do a great job and you bring the kids down early that's um, definitely something to keep them entertained for several hours. And um, we'll also have a full night of live entertainment. Mm -hmm. And that, that'll kick off again right at 6. And the food, um, 
kicks off at six as right. well, and it's kind of festival style food, um, right. burgers, dogs, um, soda, chips, water, different Excellent. things like that. And I believe the the uh, uh, White River Junction uh, Rotary Club will be uh, hosting uh, the food again this year, and they flip some mean burgers. So should be um, should be a great time for everybody to enjoy the uh, Independence Day celebration at uh, Kilowatt uh, South Park here in Hartford. And um, uh, we encourage a lot of people to, to show up early, uh, get a good parking spot, hang out, enjoy the festivities before the fireworks show. That's great. Jay, uh, I know we've really pushed a lot of um, team activities, you know, for the uh, older um, elementary school child as well as for middle school age kids. Um, what do you what have you got planned that you'd like to share with uh, with the public uh, for for our uh, middle school and high school and older elementary uh, children this summer? Yeah, so um, we'll st we can start with uh, kind of the water based activities that we'll, we'll be offering um, our kind of teen population this summer. So mm -hmm. we we offer and this is actually it's once a month all throughout the year, but the middle school fun night which is another collaborative program with the Upper Valley Aquatic Center. So I'm mm -hmm. um, usually on the last Friday of the month from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, they're encouraged to come drop in at the Aquatic, UVAC. Yeah. Um, it's a $5 admission and that, that covers your admission to the pool. And in addition, we have uh, snacks provided for the kids, um, just small finger foods, music and, and games going on. And the kids always have a, a blast going up there. Right. And for all those dates, again, you want to check our Facebook or HartfordRec.com to get all the dates and times for the summer. Excellent. And we'll also be offering uh, July beach days. So um, once a week on Wednesdays this summer, uh, we'll be um, seeking out a different beach throughout the Vermont, New Hampshire area. So some of the beaches, Lake Sunapee, State Beach, Boulder Beach, Weirs Beach, and Sandbar Beach. So we'll take off um, from the Hartford High School location mm -hmm. at 9 a.m. and we'll head out for the day and spend um, the rest of the day at the beach. Great. And trips are so just $15 a person and that covers the admission onto the beach, transportation and supervision for the day. Nice. So it's a great way for you know, your teen to come out and get a right. new experience at one of the beach and hang out with their friends right. and have a great time this summer. Yeah, excellent. And that's certainly another program that uh, we've implemented in order to provide some other aquatic experiences um, since the pool facility, you know, won't be open this summer. So that's, uh, we look forward to that. And uh, it's f uh, up to 14 participants uh, due to the bus that we're taking. Right. It's a van. So. Yeah, so we do rent a 15 passenger van. So right. the driver plus, yeah, we can accommodate 14. 14. Good. Excellent. And in, in addition to those trips, we also offer some teen getaway trips, which kind of in the same format. Um, we have a 15-passenger van, and um, this would be on Thursdays all throughout the summer. Um, we offer seven great trips. So we go to places like the Great Escape, Six Flags, um, the strategy, strategy Zone to do some laser tag. Nice. Um, Whale's Tales, Jay yeah. Peak, and Bromley Adventure Park. Excellent. And those are all priced differently, and, and the price would again cover the um, supervision, transportation, and the admission to the park. Great, excellent. So some great opportunities for the you know the middle school age kids right. um, to come out and experience these fun offerings for the summer. Exactly, great. Uh, one thing that uh, we collaborated with uh, last year, and uh, it was a huge hit, and I know we're doing it uh, again, is the Hartford uh, Performing Arts Camp. Um, you want to explain about how that program got developed and, and what to expect this summer? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so like Scott mentioned, last year's Performing Arts Camp was a huge success, and um, we were excited to offer it again this summer, and we were collaborating with um, the, high, the Hartford High School, middle school, and the elementary, elementary school uh, music teachers to offer this program. And they do a phenomenal job coordinating everything and, and getting everything planned for um, kids entering grades 6 through 9. And um, this year it, it's held on the week of August 3rd. So it's a week-long camp, Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., where um, kids... Um, that have a previous experience with uh, music or performing arts can 
Um, they can select which activity they would like for the summer. I think they can actually select two different activities and right. kind of um, the teachers there will cater to those activities and they can um, kind of de develop their skills in that particular right. performing arts. And that's all in type of a, a camp setting. It's at the campus at the, at the high yeah, school. Yeah, that's all as out well. of the Hartford uh, High School campus. So that they use their music room, their auditorium. Nice. And right. Then, um, the week kind of builds on itself. So at the end of the week, they'll have they'll, they'll put on their own camp performance. Camp performance. Is that open to anybody else to come and watch, or is it just the parents of? of those participants or? No, I think it, it was, last year it was opened right. up to everyone, so our, our, our camp got to come and, and check oh, out good. the shows on Friday. Great. And uh, if, if you were looking for more information on that, you could always uh, contact our department, uh, or we, we'll probably be sending out a notification on Facebook with those, right. with that offering. Excellent, that's great. Um, concerts in the park, that's one uh, great offering that the town provides um, the residents, and it's, um, it's 20 concerts um, throughout the course of the summer. Uh, 10 of those concerts are held at Lyman Point Park, and 10 of the additional concerts are held at the Queechee, uh, Queechee Green. And uh, the Lyman Point Park concerts are on Wednesday evenings, and the Queechee Green concerts are on Thursday evenings. But who do we got lined up this summer? I know we've got a a great uh, set of performer performances, but um, right, yeah, we have some we have some amazing uh, performers from all over New England um, joining us this summer. And just to add to to the concerts, uh, every concert starts at 6 p.m. Correct. It's about a 90 minute show. Right. Um, so so it's a it's a great way to bring your family out and enjoy some live music in an yeah. amazing park atmosphere. Bring your blanket. Uh, your picnic, uh, uh, you know, dinner, um, it's, it's a great opportunity to just to get out and hang and, and listen to some unbelievable uh, performances. Who, who do we got and when do we start, uh, Jay? Yes, we'll start on Wednesday, June 17th with the Panhandlers. They'll kick off the summer concert series um, here at Lyman Point Park in White mm -hmm. River Junction. And then on Thursday night in Queechee, we have Jerry Grimo and the East, East Bay, Bay Jazz Ensemble. Excellent. So right there are two outstanding yeah. performers right. to kick off our summer concert series. And in addition, I can read through some other um, great performers that we have. Americana's Most Wanted, Carter Glass. Carter um, Glass is awesome. The Chad Hollister Band, yeah. Yeah, Chad. Oxford and Clark, Dave Keller, the Upper Valley Community Band, the Moonlighters, the John Lackard Band, Spencer Lewis and the Folk Rock Project. There's another one, the, the f the funky uh, shrimp and the funky crustaceans. crustaceans. Yeah, I, I haven't heard them before, but I hear they're they're quite a, it's quite a quite a performance. So, and when do we end those concerts? Those go through. They'll go uh, through August? the third week in August. So August twentieth okay. would would end the series. Okay, so excellent. So if you're looking for something to do every Wednesday and every Thursday evening uh, with your family or just yourself, um, you know, bring a. Uh, blanket and your your dinner and and uh, a uh, lawn chair and enjoy a nice uh, nice performance um, you know in our in in two of one of the great parks that that we have here in Hartford so that's great the um, one other event that's coming up on uh, as we jump into uh, towards the end of the summer in August is um, is the Keo strong three on three uh, basketball tournament, and that's going to be held at Maxfield at the two new uh, basketball uh, courts. And the Keo Strong uh, tournament is in uh, memory of uh, Ed Keo, which is a coach here in Hartford for um, and a coach in the whole Upper Valley for for a long time. But he was a girls' basketball coach, and um, unfortunately, had passed away from uh, cancer. Uh, but anyhow, this is an effort to uh, memorialize. Um, uh, Ed and and provide a, a basketball experience for a variety of ages and the tournament is for seventh and eighth grade boys and girls as well as 18 years of age and older adults um, and it's a three on three uh, tournament so look at make sure you check out HartfordRec.com for um, details about that the tournament begins um, uh, at 9 a.m. 
um, on August 8th, and depending on how many teams we have for that round robin tournament, uh, it will determine when we end, actually. Uh, but that's another opportunity if you like to play some summer basketball. And I know we've uh, had a lot of inquiries so far once we started promoting it a little bit. Um, so it's going to be a, an awesome event. You can just come out and watch if you want to see a tremendous amount of, of basketball throughout the course of the day. But we hope you um, will take advantage of uh, maybe signing up a team for the Ed Keogh um, three-on-three basketball tournament on August 8th. Um, Jay, there's um, some cool things going on with the Outdoor Discovery School. Um, that's something, uh, another new program, not only for uh, youth, but um, for uh, high school age and uh, uh, adults and our 50 plus um, uh, population. Uh, you want to explain uh, maybe briefly about uh, what that's all about? Yeah, so we try to offer um, a variety of different outdoor activities for Know, all ages from young to 50 plus to just get outside and experience nature and, and be active. So one of the, you know, we'll start with our Wednesday Walker program, mm -hmm. Wednesday Walkers program um, that we offer throughout the spring. It's, it's a Wednesday walk at some local, local different uh, hiking trails. Um, just this past week, we went over to the Hazen Trail nice. and enjoyed a great walk over there. Um, we'll hike on the Hurricane Hill Trail. Guile Mountain, Coal Pond are some of the offerings this, this uh, spring. So if you're interested in being part of one of our Wednesday walking hikes, you can call our office or sign up online. And uh, we meet at the municipal building and we'll carpool to the site. And that's and free, correct? It is, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, all, it's all free. And it's a great way to, like I said, to get out and enjoy nature and socialize, socialize with, yeah. your, with your peers. And we also um, have some full moon hiking excursions planned um, for this summer. Um, our first one would be on Tuesday, June 2nd, and that'll take p place at the Boston Lot Lake. And mm -hmm. then again, in uh, the end of July, on Friday, July 31st, um, we'll Great. hike up Guile Mountain for the full mountain excursion. And that's all led by Park and Rec staff. And, and again, those are, those are free, and we encourage um, people to get out and socialize and bring your friends and maybe just your family, whatever you'd like. But uh, we hope you take advantage of that. Um, that as well. Um, let's go fishing. What do you got planned with let's go fishing this summer? Yeah, so this this will be our our first let's go fishing workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, last year I had an opportunity of, of um, completing a let's go fishing workshop with the Vermont Fish and Wildlife and mm -hmm. uh, became a certified let's go fishing instructor and that was one thing I wanted to bring back to offer to our community and kind of teach them about fishing and all the benefits that you get um, just from a simple activity like right. fishing. Um, so on Saturday, August 8th from 10 to 2 at mm -hmm. Clifford Park in West Hartford, we'll be putting on a Let's Go Fishing workshop. Mm -hmm. And this program educates young people about water, ecology, and fishing. It helps young people become aware of and appreciate Vermont's great fish population and, mm -hmm. and the waters that you know, that you can experience through this great state and right. all those different resources and opportunities. And also this teaches proper fishing skills and techniques, um, including respect for the resource and responsibilities and knowing the rules sure. and regulations of fishing. Sure. We have a fly fishing school as well, correct, this summer? Correct. We do. We work with uh, and collaborate with Wilderness Trails out mm -hmm. of the Queechee Inn over in Queechee. And, and uh, Pete Meyer there is... Uh, putting on a fly fishing school for us mm -hmm. and uh, those dates and inf all of the information can be found on our great. website and great. believe but we do offer a fantastic deal for a you know a licensed guide to right get you out in the water and get you started on fly fishing yeah catch some fish exactly excellent uh, another event that we have that uh, we certainly don't want to forget about on july 17th is uh, our second movie in the park and and uh, last year we did our first movie in the park at Lyman Point, and, and this year our, our movie is going to be at uh, Queechee Green. Uh, and uh, this year we're playing uh, the movie The Goonies. So if, um, if you can date yourself back into the early 1980s, uh, The Goonies was a, a popular movie, I think, produced by Steven Spielberg. But uh, this is another opportunity where you can come and hang out at the, at the Queechee Green, and uh, once the 
the sun goes down and it starts getting a little dark, we've got this huge open air cinema that um, we uh, we show the movie on, and uh, we we hope you take advantage of that. That is uh, that is a free offering as well. So. Uh, not only uh, can you enjoy our parks during the day, you can come and watch a movie at night. So we certainly encourage you to come on um, on the 17th of July where we show the Goonies uh, at the Queechee Green. Um, the uh, other thing we'd like to share with the general public is uh, the um, Hartford Parks and Recreation Department supplies um, uh, a lot of discount uh, tickets to theme parks. Um, throughout the New England region through the Vermont Recreation and Park Association. And uh, where can we go uh, if you get a discounted ticket? And I believe they're pretty considerably um, uh, less than if you, you know, walk right up to the, you know, to the uh, theme park and uh, buy a ticket. But uh, And I have the 2015 prices mm -hmm. right here on our, our brochure. You can find this information online and you would pick up the tickets right at our office at 171 Bridge Street. In White mm -hmm. River Junction, and the, you can go to Six Flags for thirty-eight dollars a ticket, nice, which right. is a considerable discount from the fifty-nine ninety-nine yeah. at the at the gate. Um, the Great Escape for thirty-seven, and Bromley Adventure Park for thirty. Nice. So those nice. are all uh, right. Great discount, right. discounted. Uh, and the, yeah, the unique thing about the uh, VRPA discount tickets is um, we we supply them. Um, and uh, the Vermont Recreation and Park Association, which is a state association that um, um, supports um, all the municipal uh, park and recreation agencies throughout the state of, um, state of Vermont. Um, it's a tremendous fundraiser for VRPA to help, um, help VRPA, the state association, uh, support um, you know, municipal recreation departments. So, uh, every time you buy one of those discount tickets, it goes right back to the state of Vermont to support uh, municipal recreation um, and provide that service uh, to us as a municipal department. So uh, we certainly hope you buy your ticket and, and come see us at, um, to get that discount ticket. So, so anyhow, as you have, have heard here uh, today, um, uh, the Parks and Recreation Department Department has a tremendous amount of um, uh, programs to offer, and um, you know, nationally from the from the start, parks were created to serve the people, uh, to give them a place to appreciate nature and uh, exercise, socialize, and have fun. So we hope um, hope uh, here, uh, while you listen to uh, our little show here, that you were able to uh, pick out a few activities and and. Um, ideas to, to uh, take advantage of um, this summer and uh, join Hartford Parks and Recreation for, um, for a great summer of fun and activities. Anything else you got to add, Jay? Yeah, I would say just to add, just because we didn't talk about it today, there, I mean, there's 20 pages in our program guide and, and um, all this information is on our website at hartfordrec.com. So if there maybe was something you're interested in that you didn't hear, to go on our website and check it out. and. Uh, you know, if there's something that you'd like us to offer, to always, you know, you could contact us at 295-5036 to you know, chat with us, and maybe it's uh, something that we could offer in the future if we don't Great. offer it right now. That's a very good point. So not only do we just provide the offerings that, that uh, we collaboratively put together um, through the department, but we certainly encourage the general public to, to hand out some ideas and and uh, you know, let us know. Uh, we certainly like to in, uh, increase our program offerings uh, throughout the community and look forward to your input. So thanks for joining us today. Yes, thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.